<clears throat> I'm at the Sterling Hill Mining Museum, and uh, hopefully I'm in focus, because I'm just learning how to use, uh, well, suggested perception. Okay, a car's coming this way. Maybe. Okay, back to the beginning. Hi, I'm at the Sterling Hill. I'm at the Sterling Hill Mining Museum, and uh, this is the new vlog. Um, I'm going to be talking to you about the cloud. Okay, um, I think the cloud has its place, but I don't think that it is the future. Exactly. Listen, I like things like Dropbox for putting files up, and Photobucket is phenomenal for when I need to go to a forum and I need to post a photograph. Photobucket is the way to go. And DeviantArt is amazing, and it's a great way to get uh, artists uh, out there in the world. And um, there are many, many, many useful things for storing things online. However, the cloud, as it is described to me, is that they want to do away with programs that you purchase. You no longer install it on your computer, and that you have to uh, subscribe or pay as you go. You know, even if you were to buy a license and you still have to access your program online, well, if I'm using Photoshop, which is a very intense program, um, I can't be on location with my laptop or other internet service device and trying to edit programs that I have to deal with bandwidth connections to make sure that I can use it, which is just like crazy. That doesn't help anybody out except for the people who sell the program. That doesn't help me out. I mean, uh, when I use Photoshop, I use it to color correct. I use it to, like for instance today, uh, I used it to photograph some fluorescent minerals. Now the problem with fluorescent minerals is that uh, the camera doesn't quite pick up the color that I see from my eyes, you know, so it's, it's necessary to change the f-stop, you know, close it down to f-stops so that I can get the deep intense blues and then I gotta go back to uh, regular mode to try and get the yellows and the greens and uh, sometimes the reds you might want to go down maybe a, an f-stop or, or, or something up stop and a half it depends on the lighting conditions and how intense whether you're using short wave uh, black light or medium wave black light or you know it's a difficult thing. You can't take one photograph and get the image that you want. So you have to take a variety of photographs. And if you're using um, extension rings, for instance, you know, to get close-up photography, you're going to have to take something that's in focus in this area, then something that's in focus in this area, then something that's in focus in this area, and you have to stack the images so you can get an image that's completely in focus. Photoshop is phenomenal for that. I would hate to have to go through a lousy connection. Like, for instance, let's suppose I'm in Mexico, Maine, which is a town, and I'm visiting a friend's house, and they don't have Wi-Fi, but I'm, say, cat a corner from the library where there is free service or something you know and uh, I can't wait on a lousy connection that's across a courtyard to try and download Photoshop or Microsoft Word or anything like that so that idea for the cloud is crazy and yet, people seem to think, hey, the cloud, that's a great idea, and we'll make money. Well, that's not so great. And quite frankly, you don't want to store your stuff online anyway, because no matter how secure the ad blurb is, there are suckers out there who can see what's on your computer right now without you even knowing. Not that I'm trying to be paranoid or make you scared, but quite frankly, the cloud is good for some things, and like I said, Art, quite amazing. Uh, Dropbox, uh, 
photo puppet. You know, these are great. And who doesn't like their social media? And that's good too. And my email. I love Gmail. It's great. And there are many other things on the internet which are brilliant. And in that respect, the cloud is great. But on the other hand, people are acting like it's the last thing. I have an author friend who wrote a scene in a book uh, where somebody loses all their data. And the biggest criticism that was going on was that, uh, oh, well, they would have just put it on the cloud. And I'm sorry, cloud isn't for that. You don't put your personal data, no matter what you think it is. It's of interest to somebody. If I'm doing a cover for a book, which I often do, um, I can't have the high-res version of that up online. Because, you know, there is the potential. There is the possibility that someone's going to download that cover, change a couple of things, put it for their cover, and then suddenly I've lost my copyright because they published first. And even if I can prove, hey, this was on my computer before, that's like litigation, that's annoying, and quite frankly, the thing about litigation is you have to have the money to litigate. litigate. I mean, I'm not interested in that. So the cloud has its uses, and it's great, but don't put up anything that you use professionally or your personal information on the cloud. My father's like 99 years old on, um, on Facebook. He isn't 99 years old, but you don't put your actual birth date out there. This is all stuff that people would hack. And so that's my feeling on the cloud. Aside from that, doing great um, in Ogdensburg, New Jersey. And um, having a great time on an assignment, and I look forward to going back to Rochester, New York, and, uh, well, that's what I got. So, I'll be seeing you soon. Uh, it's Saturday morning, and got to go back to Rochester. So, um, see you then.